The Mel team has officially released the official launch date of key portions of the protocol. And as a part of today's video, I want to break down exactly what this means for the future of this platform. What is going on, Meld Nation? Welcome back to Dapp Central. I'm your host here, Fareed, and I'm super excited today to be breaking down a breaking news announcement that was just made by the Meld team. Now, I just got done releasing a Meld video breaking down exactly how the protocol works, and as soon as I released that video, the Meld team tweeted out this huge announcement surrounding the official launch date of their multi-chain wallet, their multi-chain bridging, the fact that they're going to be supporting native or Cardano staking, as well as CNFT support within the Meld app and just so many more updates that I want to share here with you guys. So without taking up any more time, let's just go ahead and just jump straight into this particular update here, which is going to be a quick one for you guys. Nonetheless, it is extremely important here, given the fact that so many members here within the Cardano community have been waiting for more direction and clarity surrounding the official launch of Meld on the main net. Now, there's going to be one key portion here that will be missing that I do want to tackle as well here just to make sure to set expectations. So it reads here, major announcement, the Melt App Wallet and Melt L1 blockchain mainnet launch will be occurring on May 3rd. At the time that I'm shooting this video, it is currently April 13th. And so in no more than three weeks, the Melt mainnet will be going live now. There's going to be key parts here that are going to be going live. And again, there's going to be one particular piece that will not be going live that I want to highlight. So what we can expect on May 3rd will be the launch of their multi-chain wallet. Now, this will support Bitcoin, Cardano, Ethereum, Avalanche, Meld, and the Binance Smart Chain. Now, I'm pretty sure that everybody's familiar with Bitcoin, Cardano, Ethereum, and Avalanche. The Meld L1 will be built using a subnet on Avalanche. And so that's going to be the L1 that will be also launching on May 3rd. So not only are they launching their multi-chain wallet on May 3rd, they're also going to be launching their own Meld L1, which will be supported within the Meld app or within the Meld wallet. And then in closing, they've got BSC or the Binance Smart Chain. The next update that we're expecting here on May 3rd will be multi-chain bridging. So this will be the ability to move your Meld tokens from Cardano to the Meld L1 to Ethereum to Avalanche or BSC. Again, this is huge given the fact that we've been waiting on bridging technology or bridging capabilities for quite a while. We did see the Meld team create the Akamon bridge, which did make it through its alpha and its beta on the test net. But since then, the team has shifted their focus to providing utility and delivering on their C2C or crypto to crypto and C2F crypto to fiat portions of the protocol. Now, the third key feature is going to be native ADA staking. Now, I'm wondering if this is in reference to the wallet. Um, but I'm not sure exactly how native ADA staking is going to be um, playing a part here within the release of Meld. Again, if they're referring to maybe staking directly from within the Meld app, then that makes sense. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and reach out here to see if I can get a little bit more clarity surrounding that particular point. Now, the next one here is going to be surrounding Cardano NFTs. So it states here, CNFT support will also be available in the Meld app. Now, because they're going to be a cross-chain wallet and the fact that they've already released their Meld Diamond Hand NFTs, as well as the upcoming release of the Meld Bank Managers, you can expect that if you're on Cardano and you hold those assets, regardless of which blockchain you're on, since it's going to be a multi-chain wallet, you'll still be able to see and interact with your Cardano native NFTs as long as they're stored within the Meld app or within the Meld wallet. So pretty cool feature there. The next one here is going to be surrounding a seamless onboarding process via Web3 Auth, which will allow for users to create their Meld wallet using their email address in just a few clicks. Now, I did a fully dedicated video or I had a fully dedicated video breaking down the process of creating and getting access to the Meld testnet um, in which I actually connected to the testnet and created a wallet using Web3 Auth and a Google authentication service. And so this is going to be coming to the platform when creating your Meld app wallet um, as soon as this launches on May 3rd. Now, I'm wondering if there's going to be additional options to create your wallet, but as it seems right now, this will be supported out of the box and the same exact feature that was seen on the test net will also be available here on the main net when it comes to the Meld app wallet. 
Now, the next update is going to be surrounding the Meld L1, again, which is going to be built on Avalanche using their subnet. So it says here there's going to be a very low gas fee paid in Meld and new products built on top of the Meld L1, which will be announced very soon. So it looks like because they're able to use EVM technology here, they were able to get the Meld L1 running um, very, very quickly, and they're gonna be adding additional um, features or maybe different protocols running on top of the Meld L1 that may not be doable within Cardano. Now, we don't know exactly what that is just yet, but it does look like they will be making announcements very soon. If you're enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you guys could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, consider subscribing for more content just like this. And if you guys have any questions about anything that we've talked about so far, then make sure you leave those down below. Now, the very last update here is going to be the fact that they're not going to have a multi-sig wallet on Cardano. If you don't know what a multi-sig wallet is, this is going to be a wallet that requires multiple signatures, right? Or multiple verifications or agreements from multiple parties in order for a specific action to take place. So for example, like managing a DAO or a treasury, um, a multi-sig could come in, in handy in the sense that you have to basically have multiple parties buy in before an action or a function takes place. So it states here, the multi-sig will be a fully functional smart contract used by the Meld team at launch, then available for the Meld app users shortly thereafter. So I'm wondering exactly how the Meld team will be leveraging this, but it looks like the multi-sig functionality will also be made available to the general public or general users using the Meld app or the Meld wallet. In closing, it states here, we're extremely excited to launch the Meld app and the Meld layer one blockchain after months of hard work. Now, this update here literally came out of left field. As I just mentioned, I just got done shooting my own personal video here, and I had no expectations or no idea that this announcement would be following right after that particular video. So again, here in closing, recapping the fact that on May 3rd, we are going to be getting the Meld multi-chain wallet, which will be supported on Bitcoin, or will, which will be supporting, excuse me, Bitcoin, Cardano, Ethereum, Avalanche, Meld, and the BSC networks as well as the ability to perform multi-chain bridging, native Cardano staking, CNFT support, as well as the onboarding using Web3 Auth, the paying of gas fees on the Melt L1, as well as a multi-sig wallet for the network. Again, guys, this is a huge bit of breaking news here. Um, I think a lot of people within this community, we're starting to get weary here, but we are starting to see the launch of the platform. Now, as I mentioned before, there's going to be one key feature that has not yet been mentioned here, which is going to be the core lending and borrowing. So this was recently announced, but Meld is collaborating right now with IOG on an issue which is preventing them from securely launching on the Cardano network. Now, this does not mean that they may not be able to launch on the Melt L1, but that has yet to be announced or that has yet to be seen. So if we do get some clarification surrounding whether or not they'll be launching lending and borrowing on their L1 before Cardano, I'll make sure to break that news here. But again, once they figured out how to actually proceed with their concerns here when it comes to security with IOG on Cardano, they'll be releasing their lending and borrowing platform. Now, if you guys are not already gotten a chance to test the Meld network or the Meld testnet, then make sure to use the link that I'm going to be leaving down below. But you can go ahead and actually begin the process of creating your Melt app wallet, as well as uh, performing swaps, right? In the sense that you can go ahead and provide liquidity as well as borrow against your crypto collateral. That is going to bring us to a close here for today's video, breaking down the major news here surrounding the fact that the Meld protocol, or at least key parts of the Meld protocol, will be going live here beginning on May 3rd. If you guys found this brief update here to be uh, helpful or insightful in any way, shape, perform. I would really appreciate it if you guys could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content just like this, then make sure to go ahead and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions for me about Meld or anything going on within Cardano, then make sure to leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.